because I tell you what, it is letting up, but is not letting up anytime soon. Today, tomorrow, a lot of us not under any heat advisories, but it's still going to feel like those triple digits. Yeah, so we've got the heat that we're dealing with. Humidity levels are quite high for us out there as we watch uh, Sky 5 live right now over at Nashville International. Traffic moving nicely in and out of the airport for us this morning and looking good over the area. The one key thing for you as you get ready to walk to your car is that the humidity levels are high. So that that, that, that air just kind of smacks you in the face with that air you can wear. But a cool shot there from our friends in Sky 5 Live here as we start our morning. So we've got a couple of thunderstorms to our north along the Tennessee Kentucky state line. Scattered showers and storms for more of us later today. And and then a few strong storms are a possibility tomorrow. Here's the overall breakdown for you today. We are looking for another 90 degree day here in Nashville. 92 mid up Brady's though Lafayette Cookville and then back over into the McMinnville area. So it is out to our west where they've got the heat advisory that is out for today. We look at radar right now and there has been about five hundredths of an inch of rainfall at our camera location in Hopkinsville and rain though has been a little bit heavier here as you get a little north of a bowling green, especially around the Morgantown area. At Nikki D and there's been quite a bit of lightning with this storm over the last hour or so. I mean loud and electric. Thankfully nothing is currently severe, but if it were to turn severe, we'll be the first to let you know. Here's a live look outside overlooking music. Music City. It's going to be another scorcher out there, but early is best when it comes to getting outside and getting your routines done, especially for working out. We will have a little relief though in the days to follow. So here's what we're looking at. This is exact track, but please remember it's not the gospel. It's a great indication of the timing and type of weather we're looking to have. That big elongated cell Leland just showed you a lot of that's going to fall apart as it moves its way southward. So it's going to become more scattered as we make our way throughout the afternoon time frame and slowly drifting its way southward right along I 40 moving its way closer into parts of Murfreesboro this evening into dinner time and we'll continue that on and off activity as we head into the early overnight time frame. Now overnight looks to be on the drier side and then tomorrow we do it all over again. Tomorrow though not looking to be as widespread, more so scattered as we head throughout the day, but all we need is a little bit of lift from this cold front and this cold front is really going to be playing games with us over the next few days going down to our south, retreating back northward and we're finally going to have that cold front move through Friday. So what does that mean for us? Some shower storms will have the potential to turn strong to severe. My main issue as well as Leland's are those gusty winds. As far as rain, higher rain totals still look to be across the plateau. However, one to two inches off to our west. Heat, humidity today, tomorrow and Wednesday. And then Leland, the temperatures slowly dip down, but the rain chances stay put. Yeah, so we'll continue to hold on the rain chances for Thursday, Friday and for Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be one of those weeks to have your app ready. Of course, that Storm Shield app is free.